If you stay until the end of this video, I will be giving you one secret tip on how to make your account a little bit more successful when you've only just started. So let's dive in, shall we? My first top tip is to write a compelling bio and make sure that you've got an eye-catching profile picture. Now your profile picture doesn't have to have you in it, it's just something that's eye-catching and something that relates to what you're going to be posting on your account. Uh, so it doesn't have to have your face in it, it could be like a bodyscape or just a nice photo, lips, etc. Anything like that, just something eye-catching. Now in regards to writing a compelling bio, the things I'd suggest that you include in your bio are when you're going to be posting, so if, for example days of the week, if you don't have any specific days, how often you're going to be posting, if you're going to offer live streams, if you're going to offer Q&As, um, the type of content that you're going to be posting on your account. So here's an example of my bio and hopefully this will give you an idea of what to include. I would also include a disclaimer on your bio and I will include one in the description and you can use this for your bio as well. So once you've got yourself set up, you've got yourself verified on OnlyFans, my next top tip would be to post at least 10 to 20 pieces of content on your account. This could be photos, this could be videos, this could be text statuses, this could be polls. Use all the features, but just make sure you've actually got between 10 and 20 images or content on your account. Now this is because at the top of your profile, when you click as a as an audience, you can see how much content is on that profile. Now you can actually hide this and that's fine if you want to hide it, however, as an, especially as a new account, I would suggest that you show this. It shows the person who is looking at your account that there's actually content on there and that they're not subscribing to a blank profile. Now, obviously if you want to hide it, again, that's your choice, but as a new profile, it does show at least there's content on there and they can be like, oh, okay, I will have a look. I'm not just subscribing to nothing. Um, so I would advise, obviously, get some content on there already. These don't have to be professional images if you're posting images. You could have, there could be a bunch of selfies. It doesn't matter. Just make sure you've got something on there. My third top tip is promote. Promote, 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 promote. I cannot stress this enough. If you do not promote your account, you're not going to reach a new audience. You're not going to reach a target audience. You're not going to reach anybody if you don't promote your account. So you need to make sure you're promoting it. Obviously, there are different platforms that you can promote your account on such as Instagram, X, um, Reddit, uh, I guess here, but YouTube, but I wouldn't necessarily do that. Um, obviously Facebook, you can use all sorts of social media platforms to promote your account. However, there are different ways to promote your account on each of these platforms. So with X, you can be as out there as you want. It doesn't matter. It's X. You can post whatever you want on there uh, within reason. Instagram. You do need to be not as out there, nothing sexual, nothing implied, because you will get shadow banned and you won't reach an audience. Um, I will be doing a video separately on how to use X, which I mainly use to promote my OnlyFans account, um, and how to actually reach a wider audience. My fourth top tip is to batch create content. Now, this will save you bags of time and also energy. So if you even just spend an hour or two, set aside an hour or two. Personally, I set a whole day aside. And in this time, I will take a bunch of photos, I will edit, I will schedule content. I will be doing a separate video on how to schedule content. And this day gives me the time that I need to make sure everything is sorted and ready and that I haven't really got to do anything for a few weeks. Um, and it's already there. I haven't got to think about it. It just saves time, it saves energy, and it just frees up so much time. Like, I cannot stress how much time, if I say time one more time, how much time <laughs> it saves. Uh, my fifth top tip is to schedule content. I will briefly show you how to schedule content, but I will be going into detail in this on another video. So firstly, you'll go to create a new post, and then you'll come down here to this icon here to click schedule post pick the date that you want and pick the desired time that you want the post to go out on i'm just going to show you all the times available every time 24 hour am or pm press ok and then you'll upload your content here you'll put your photo here your video here whatever you want to upload and then you'll press schedule
If you've made it this far, thank you and congratulations. Like I said at the start of the video, I will be giving you one secret top tip on how to make your account look more presentable to a new audience. So, my secret top tip is to like your own images. Now, I know this is taboo on almost every other social media platform, but that's because you can see it's you liking it. However, on OnlyFans, you can't see who's liking what. So, when you've posted your 20 images, for example, go through and like them all, because then, at the top of your profile, it will then show you've got 20 likes. Now, at least this then shows that, you know, you've got content on there, and now you've also got content that's been liked on there. What you can also do, if you have a friend or someone that you trust, you can create them a free trial link. I will show you how to do this now. To create a free trial link, you want to go down to where it says more, which will bring you up to this page, and you'll scroll down to where it says trial links, and you'll click that. Now, I would recommend setting no expiration date, one subscriber so you know who it is, and set it for as long as you want them to have access to your account. Get them to like your content because now those 20 likes have instantly doubled to 40 likes and so on and so forth. So this then just makes your account look a little bit more presentable to someone viewing it as a non-subscriber because you've got content, you've got likes and clearly there's some form of engagement and there people will be like, oh, okay, you know, must be interesting and it just creates that curiosity of what's been liked, what's on there. So thank you again for watching this video and if you've enjoyed it please like and please subscribe so you don't miss out on any future videos that I do post. All my videos will be about OnlyFans and giving tips and tricks and answering questions on how to become a successful OnlyFans content creator. And thank you again for watching and yeah hopefully see you in the next video.